Hello everyone, this is Dr. Speranza at kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, please hit the subscribe button para dumami na kayong natutulungan ko. Today, we're going to be working on the truth table at ito yung isa sa mga skills na kailangan nyo malaman para maintindihan nyo yung symbolic logic. Dun sa negation, sa truth table, ibig sabihin ng negation o yung symbol na ganito, ibig sabihin nun ay yun yung kinukuha niya, yung opposite na meaning or content ng inyong uh, truth value. So, for example, let's say yung statement P nyo ay merong truth at saka false value. Yung negation ng P nyo or not P would be the opposite operation. So, yung truth ang negation niya ay false at yung false ang negation niya ay truth. So, yan yung paggamit ng negation sa ating truth Table. Now, let's say gagamitin naman natin to para sa isang compound statement which means meron na tayong two or more statements sa isang logic or symbolic logic form. So, itong table na ito ay nagpapakita ng dalawang basic statements, statement P at statement Q. Now, ang mga possible value ng ating dalawang statements na P and Q dun sa ating conjunction operation which means end operation. Kapag daw tayo ay may statement na true at yung second statement ay true, yung ating statement or buong statement ay true. At kung meron tayong statement na true sa first statement at yung second statement ay false, ito naman ay false sa ating conjunction operation. At kung ang ating first statement ay false at ang second statement ay true, ito rin ay false sa ating conjunction operation at dun sa ating statement 1 or first statement ay false at kung ang second statement natin ay false, sa ating conjunction ito ay false. Dahil by definition, ang conjunction or yung end operation, kapag meron kayong dalawang statements, P and Q, magiging true lang siya kung ang statement 1 mo at statement 2 ay true. And then the rest of the combination would be false. At kung meron kayong two statements, ang possible outcome lang ng inyong two statements na pag pinagsama sa conjunction would be four different types of combination which is true and true, false and false, true, false, and false, true. So yan yung ating first table of values sa ating conjunction operation. Now sa disjunction operation naman, given by the operation na um, korteng V, Ayon sa definition, meron tayong disjunction kapag ka ang dalawang statements natin ay false under the disjunction operation, ito ay magiging false. And then the rest would be true. So kung meron tayong statement P and Q, kung true yung P at true yung Q, yung ating P or Q ay going to be a truth value. At kung meron tayong truth statement sa P, at false statement sa Q, ito ay parehas pa rin truth value sa ating OR operation. At kapag meron tayong false or true, ito ay true statement pa rin. At the only time na magiging false ang ating disjunction ay kapag parehas silang false. So yung last statement natin, magiging false yung kanyang equivalent kasi false yung P and false yung Q. Now, paano naman natin gagamitin yung mga truth table na ito para makuha natin yung value ng isang compound statement? So, let's say meron tayong dalawang statements. Statement P na kung saan 10 is greater than 4 and statement Q which is 3 is less than 5. Now, alam natin mathematically na yung ating statement P at statement Q ay parehas na truth value or truth statement. Kung gagamitin natin yung ating uh, conjunction para sa dalawang operations, so problem number one, meron tayong P and Q. At sa problem number two, meron tayong not P and Q. So kung gagamitin natin yung conjunction table para sa ating mga values, alam natin na magiging true lang yung ating uh, compound statement kapag ka yung ating parehas na statement basic statement or simple statement ay parehas na true. So sa ating first symbolic form, P and Q, yung P natin ay true at yung Q natin ay true. So T and T is going to be a truth statement. So true statement yung problem number one. Now yung problem number two naman natin, not P, which means it's not true or false. So false yung ating first statement at yung ating Q statement would be a truth 
value or a truth statement. So in this case, meron tayong F and T at kung titingnan nyo sa conjunction table, yung false at saka true ay equal to a false statement. So ganyan natin gagamitin yung truth table at pag-construct ng truth table para makuha natin yung value ng compound statement. Now let's say we have another set of symbolic um, form of our statement. Yung ating first or yung ating third example, meron tayong P, but this time, gumagamit tayo ng OR operation, which is a disjunction, P or not Q, at not P or not Q. So, gagamitin natin yung ating disjunction table para makita natin or ma-verify yung value ng ating dalawang statements. So, parehas pa rin yung sta statement or value ng statement natin for P and Q. So, for P, kung truth state statement siya, gagawin natin siyang T at yung ating not Q would be a false statement for Q statement so it would be an F so kung titingnan nyo yung ating table T or F is going to be a truth statement so this one is a true statement for problem number 3 using the disjunction operation now for problem number 4 not P is false and not Q is also false and using your disjunction table Two false means false, so that means yung ating fourth st statement ay false statement. So yan yung paggamit ng ating truth table para sa compound statement para malaman natin kung ang value niya ay false or true. Now, paano naman natin gagamitin kung meron tayong two or more operations in our compound statement? So let's say we're going to construct a truth table given by the symbolic form of quantity P, and Q, and then negation of that. So, ano yung value ng ating function or ng ating truth table kung kailangan natin kunin yung ating negation ng P and Q? So, alam natin ng conjunction form ng ating truth table ay itong set ng values na ito. Pero hindi ito yung kailangan natin kunin. Kailangan natin kunin yung quantity P and Q and then negation of that. So, Kailangan natin mag-set ng another column at yung column na yun, yun yung ating magiging column for the symbolic form na kailangan natin kunin. So, alam natin na yung P and Q ay merong values na T, F, F, F para sa apat na combination. So, ang gagawin natin, since alam na natin yung value ng P and Q, I-ignore muna natin yung column P and column Q para hindi tayo malito. Dahil kailangan lang natin gawin is kunin yung value ng P and Q but yung negation value niya. So, ibig sabihin, yung negation ng P and Q would be the opposite of your values dun sa P and Q. So, kung yung P and Q ay T, F, 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 yung ating not P and Q would be its opposite value. So, yung not P and Q would be false, true, true, and true. So, yan yung paggamit ng ating truth table kung saan ina-associate natin yung ating symbolic form sa paggawa ng mga values given that the definition of the disjunction operation and conjunction operation ay nandun na dun sa ating table. Now, let's say, para mag karon ng sense yung ating operation, let's say gagamitin natin yan sa actual statement na merong English meaning. So let's say yung statement P at statement Q ay parehas na truth statement at yung P is Harvard is a college at yung Q is Yale is a college. So kung gagamitin natin yung P and Q at kinonstruct natin yung ating logic statement into an English statement, ang ating statement would be Harvard is a college and Yale is a college. At alam naman natin na ito ay truth value dahil parehas naman talaga silang colleges. Now, kung gagawin natin yung not quantity P and Q, ibig sabihin, ine-negate natin yung mga values ng ating P and Q, which means Harvard is not a college and Yale is not a college. Now, with this particular English statement, we know that this statement is going to be a false statement dahil na negate natin yung ating value. So, yan yung paggamit ng ating table at pag-associate natin sa kanyang English form. Now, isa sa mga terms na ginagamit natin sa 
compound statement na parehas na truth statement kapag ninegate nyo siya, ang tawag doon ay tautology. Pero this example, itong example ng compound statement na hindi or not a tautology. Kasi yung ating P and Q ay true at yung ating not P and Q ay false at kapag ka ang ating compound statement ay true para sa parehas na value sa negated value niya at sa original value niya, yun ang tinatawag nating tautology. So, ito yung example na to ay isang example ng not a tautology statement dahil sa magkaiba sila ng value. Now, let's have more examples on how we can construct a true truth table. At itong truth table natin ngayon ay medyo complex yung operation. Meron tayong quantity not P and Q or not Q. So, mapapansin nyo na meron tayong dalawang compound statements na hinihiwalay ng or statement. So, ito yung ating first statement at ito yung ating second statement. Now, yung ating statement na to, ang gagawin na lang natin is idadisect natin yung ating mga truth table para makaproduce tayo ng truth table ng symbolic logic or symbolic form na to. So, uunahin natin siyempre yung ating basic truth table na P and Q. So, meron tayong true, 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 false, false, true, at false, false. Yan yung ating default value ng ating dalawang truth statement na P and Q. Now, kung kukunin natin yung negation ng P para dun sa una nating um, compound statement, yung not P natin is ininegate lang natin or change natin ng value, lahat ng value ng P. So, yung truth magiging false, yung false magiging truth. So, ang ating not P would be FFTT. Now, since sa loob ng ating parentheses, meron tayong statement na not P or Q, ito ay uri ng disjunction or OR operation. At sa OR operation, mapapansin nyo na magiging false lang siya kapag ang dalawang statements ay parehas na false. So, kung titingnan nyo yung not P, and Q, sa ating column, yung ating true, true lang, or yung ating dalawang values na false and false would become false. So, in this case, titingnan nyo yung value ng Q at titingnan nyo yung value ng not P. So, yung ating first statement would be a truth statement. Yung second would be a false statement kasi yung not P at saka yung Q nyo ay parehas na false. So, false statement siya. At yung the rest niya would be true and true. Dahil ayon sa ating disjunction table, isang beses lang may combination na false statement ay yun ay kung parehas na false yung ating first statement at second statement. Now, ang kukunin naman natin ngayon is yung combination ng ating first group given by the green um, label at yung ating yellow label. Now, sa yellow label natin, kailangan naman natin kunin yung negation ng Q. At sa column Q, to switch lang natin yung kanila mga values, so yung not Q natin would equal to false, true, false, true. Now, since pwede na natin i-combine yung ating last two columns using the end operation, ang gagawin natin is i-ignore natin yung first two columns para hindi tayo malito. So, pagka in-ignore natin yung column na yan at titingnan natin yung operation sa gitna which is the disjunction, gagamitin natin ngayon yung ating, I mean yung conjunction or um, this operation over here. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon is yung table of values ng conjunction na kung saan magiging truth statement lang siya kapag ka yung ating P and Q ay parehas na true. So, in this case, sa ating truth table, yung first row natin, T and F would be false. F and T would be false. T and F would be false. At yung ating last statement, yun lang yung truth statement dahil ito lang yung nagsasatisfy doon sa ating conjunction table ng ating truth table. So, yan yung paghimay-himay ng ating mga operations on compound statement para makabuo tayo ng truth table na ginagamit natin sa symbolic logic.